What's up everybody, this is Danny and I'm here taking a look at the brand new Sony lineup and the one that interested me the most was this new Xperia Z5 Premium and not because of its internal specs, but this thing has a 4K display. Okay, I'm gonna let that soak in, a 4K display. This is the highest resolution on a smartphone so far, giving this 5.5 inch triluminous panel a ridiculous PPI of 806. Wow. The question is, how does this 3840 by 2160 panel work? Well, if you have compatible UHD content to be able to take advantage of the display and when viewing 4K content, the display, it looked amazing. The display quality was great with decent viewing angles and great colors, but when putting it up next to a Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge Plus side by side on normal tasks like the home screen, I'm going to be honest here, it was really hard for me to tell the difference. I will have to get one to test this thing further, but on quick look, they both look equally as sharp. Let's take a quick tour of the Z5 Premium. On the left side, you get the Xperia logo and you get a flap here housing the nano SIM card slot and yes, wait for it, an SD card slot to increase 32 gigabytes of onboard storage. Props to you, Sony, for keeping the SD card on your flagship. On the top, you get a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and a noise canceling microphone. And on the bottom, there is a lanyard and a micro USB port that supports quick charging. And the most interesting side is the right side. And that features the dedicated camera shutter button, the volume rocker switch, and the power button. This power button is special though, for in my opinion, this is the most ergonomical and most convenient way of housing a fingerprint scanner. If you just look at the button itself, you can't even tell that it's a fingerprint scanner. Setting it up is extremely easy. Just move your thumb in various places, similar to any other fingerprint scanner that's out there. Trying this out on all of the new Sony phones, this fingerprint scanner is top notch. It is super fast, super convenient, and basically you just push the power button and it recognizes your fingerprint. And I'm going to say it, I'm absolutely in love with this fingerprint scanner. I was blown away how easy this was to use. The build quality overall feels great. I'm not a huge fan of this glossy mirror-like glass panel on the back, but I guess if you want to look at yourself with a bunch of fingerprints all over it, then this is going to be your phone. The metal sides and overall feel though, it feels like a premium device, it feels great. I just prefer the lower end Z5's feel with its matte finish. I think it feels better in the hand overall. It doesn't matter though, cause dbrand will be ready for this challenge and will instantly fix this slippery and fingerprint mess. So if you want to get one for yourself, check the link below to be ready. The Z5 Premium is powered by the Snapdragon 810 processor with three gigabytes of RAM and the Adreno 430 GPU. So it should have plenty of horsepower to push these pixels around, but Sony claims that this 3,430 milliamp hour battery can give you up to two days of battery life but I am really highly skeptical of this due to the high resolution of the display and the processor set, so I can't wait to get one for myself to put it to the test. Here you get the typical Android 5.1 experience with the Sony skin on top. Some people hate it, some people love it, but performance seems to be snappy all around with the time I had to play with it. I don't see any significant lags here, but that can't be determined until further testing, but on first initial impressions, it seems promising. The Z5 Premium has the new 23 megapixel Exmor RS sensor with a 24 millimeter wide angle lens and super fast 0.03 second autofocus and photos can go all the way up to 12,800 ISO and the videos can go all the way up to 3,200 ISO. This is pretty incredible. Just playing with the camera software here, the autofocus seems to be working well and I always love the two-step dedicated shutter key. It just makes it so much easier to take photos. 
There are a bunch of options here in the camera app, too many to go over, but the one thing that was interesting is that the 4K video will actually let you shoot in H.264 or in H.265, not an option that you see very much in other phones. Here are a few samples of the photos I took in good lighting conditions. The camera does a good job with nice colors and good depth of field. The indoor lighting conditions though, it seems like it's doing a decent job, but you can see some noise creeping in here and the focus seems a bit soft on some of the macro shots. But from what I can see here, the camera looks really promising. So stay tuned and I will test this camera fully when this thing is released and let you know if it's worth buying. Okay, well that does it for me with the first look here of the Z5 Premium, but I wanna know this from you guys. Is a 4K display even necessary? And do you even have any interest in this phone? Just let me know in the comment section below. Slap that like button if you enjoyed this content and subscribe for more Sony coverage here, and I'll see you guys in the next video.